Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. And today I actually just want to talk about something that Marvel released uh, last week. I was going to do a video on it last week and I just didn't have the time. So since I have a few hours before I go to work today, I figure we'll just discuss it. I'll show it up on screen here. It's basically this two-sided poster, I believe, and it's going to come out in local comic stores. So make sure you check with your local comic store. Uh, they're going to get it on January 31st and it's for sale. So it's like, a, I think it's like a 20 by 13 size poster. And it's called the web of venom and it's basically showing you uh, all the events that marvel's been planning for a while now leading to eddie brock's return and then leading up to his 30th anniversary and it goes over like pretty much the entire new run so it starts with uh you know venom homecoming which was like the first trade paperback which you can get now as a trade paperback and has like the first five or six issues of venom in there i think it's the first six um and then the next one is called the return of eddie brock and uh, and it's also like a time travel story with dinosaurs and dinosaur people that live underneath new york and stuff um but it's it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, actually, it's not really time travel. I guess it's just like like dinosaurs in modern day or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's a storyline that kind of brings back Eddie Brock, and it's like Venom issue 150 up to like 154. And that's a second trade paperback that you can get and it's out right now and that's also leading to the journey of uh, what this web of venom poster is kind of outlining it's basically showing you like hey we've been working on venom stuff for a while now we've had this plan for a while and we're finally executing it now that we're close to his 30th anniversary so this is paving the way from you know basically the end of january uh, and then also what's come out so far and then leading up to May, which is the, the anniversary month of the first appearance of Venom. And I know a lot of people out there are like, hey, no, the black suit symbiote that first appeared in like 1984 and Secret Wars. And it's like, yes, it did. Uh, but the character of Venom and Eddie Brock, you know, appeared in 1988. So this is the 30th anniversary of that uh, and not the first appearance of the black suit, but as Venom as a character. From there, it goes to the return of Eddie Brock into Edge of Venomverse, which was like a five issue series, each by different writers and artists that showed alternate universes where like Gwenpool became Venom and other characters became Venom. Uh, I think Laura X-23 became Venom. Uh, and so it had all those characters. Uh, oh, also a Ghost Rider Venom, which was pretty cool. And, uh, and an old man Logan Venom. And then that led into, uh, well, kind of led into Venom Verse, which is the miniseries I have on the wall behind me here, except for this. That's the first appearance of Venom right there, or the costume, I should say. And then this is the Venom uh, Verse miniseries, which I really liked actually. And since I had the trade, I was like, oh, I can frame the individual comics now uh, and have it as a background for the show. Uh, but Colin Bunn, I thought, did a really good job on that. And the art I really love. And I just friended uh, that guy on Facebook now that I'm back on Facebook. And, uh, and oh yeah, by the way, make sure you follow at Venom Vlog on Facebook. I just created the page. Uh, but yeah, so I followed that artist and I'm going to try to maybe buy a page of original art somewhere down the line from some of his work. And he's also doing the Poison X miniseries coming up and Venomized, I think, and some other stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more from him. His art is amazing. So after Venomverse, it goes back into the main Venom comic and it talks about um, the Venom Lethal Protector. So that'll be the next trade paperback. I think it comes out either at the end of this month or early February. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye out for that on Amazon or your local comic shop. Uh, definitely support your local comic shops. I always, you know, say that. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of comic book stores, unfortunately, went out of business this year. So if you can, you know, keep comics alive, go support local businesses. Uh, it, it really, it, it's important, you know, for sure, to, for the longevity of comic books. And uh, and also you'll meet other people there that like stuff you like or may, might recommend something that you never heard of. It's, trust me, if you want to get into comics, comic stores are the place for sure. Uh, don't just rely on everything you see online. Go to a brick and mortar store and support them. All right, I went off on a little tangent there, but uh, Lethal Protector is a story with Venom, uh, and it brings back those dinosaur people from the previous storyline, and it has them fighting Kraven the Hunter. So that trade paperback is coming out, so pick that up, um, and the single issues are out now if you want to go get them now. Uh, so it, they called it Lethal Protector. I kind of wish they didn't, because that means there's now Lethal Protector, you know, 1995 or whatever, and Lethal Protector 2017. Um, I kind of wish they didn't do that, and they just called it something else, but whatever. And from there, we go into Venom, Inc., which is a storyline that I've been giving out the codes for every week now uh, and speaking of codes I'm almost out of Venom codes after we give out the last couple lethal protector issues of the new lethal protector and uh, and give out the last two Venom Inc ones it's pretty much going to be you know less and less giveaways uh, but I still have some other Marvel books so if you guys don't mind me giving non-Venom books out on this channel I'll definitely do that for you so Venom Inc, that's the storyline that's going on right now. It's about to wrap up in a few weeks. And then once that's over, we're going to go right into February, which is the start of Poison X. And that's listed here on, you know, on the Web of Venom poster. And, you know, Poison X is like the kind of the continuation. Colin Bunn's writing it. It's going to pick up some of the threads from Venomverse. And it's also going to set up the next book, which is called Venomized, which obviously was announced. We talked about it the other day. And that's going to be a new series coming out weekly 
in April uh, every week leading up to May. And May, there's a top secret event. You notice on the poster, it says like mystery event coming up. Uh, so that's, you know, they're keeping something very top secret. They have something big planned for Venom on the month of his anniversary. I'm guessing it's going to be another weekly series. I know a lot of people out there are a little fatigued with it because we had Edge of Venomverse and that was kind of weekly and we had uh, Venomverse. I think that was monthly though, Venomverse was. Uh, but then we had like Venom Inc. crossover event and then we had, you know, the Poison X thing now. And I know a lot of people are probably a little fatigued of seeing event after event after event. But for me, as a Venom fan, it's kind of nice to see all this, you know, happen during his 30th anniversary. Uh, it makes sense. If I was, you know, in charge, I would want a lot of Venom stories and put them in other books. So that's why we have the trade paperback of uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, Volume 2. You get to see Mary Jane become Venom in that book. So definitely pick that up. It's an alternate reality where Peter and Mary Jane are still married and they have a kid, uh, their daughter, um, but it's it's a great book. And uh, and it's it's art's really great. Ryan Stegman, the writing's really great. Uh, but the uh, the storyline that this trade volume two will feature is one where Mary Jane becomes Venom. Uh, and so that's they're also listing that on these posters, uh, the Venom, we have a Venom poster that you can get Mary Jane as Venom. You can get Gwen Stacy as Venom in the Gwenom trade paperback, which will be coming out soon. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. The single issues are out now and it's about to end, I think, in the next issue. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that ends and wraps up. And then also he's going to be appearing, uh, I guess the Venom symbiote is going to be appearing in Old Man Hawkeye. So I promise, I think that book comes out like in a week or two, I will pick up the first issue and give out the digital code on here since there's uh, going to be a Venom appearance in it. And I don't know how often he'll appear throughout the book. It's a 12 issue series, but I'll keep picking him up every month to see if he pops back up. Because as we know, Old Man Hawkeye, that's set in the Old Man Logan universe. And in that universe, there was a T-Rex that the Venom symbiote was wrapped around. Uh, so it, it'll be neat to see the journey of how it goes from maybe a person to the T-Rex and where the T-Rex came from. I'm guessing maybe the Savage Land or something, but yeah, pretty neat stuff. So that's all we have right now. The Web of Venom poster here is just basically, you know, outlining the road so far uh, leading up to this big secret event they're going to do. And it's I think it's a two-sided poster. So there's one side is like the Web of Venom in, image by Clayton Crane. And then the other side, it just kind of details more of what's coming. And then it has like a a black, all black side that says, you know, image coming soon or, you know, top secret coming soon. Uh, so hopefully over the next like, you know, month or two, we'll find out what that project is. I'm sure Marvel won't waste any time uh, promoting it once the uh, IGN first look at Venom comes out. And once there's more movie news coming along, I'm sure they're going to get on that bandwagon and, and try to get those sales up on that comic, which I hope so, because the comic's not bad. It, it's it's not uh, great, but I will say for, for a monthly Venom story, it's been really good. And then having these other events and getting these other voices on the book uh, and the character is really nice too. So it's not just like Mike Costa. If you're, if you're not digging his stuff, you could check out the Colin Bunn stuff. If you're not digging the Colin Bunn stuff, you could check out, you know, like the, the Renew Your Vows storyline with Mary Jane or Gwenum. It's like there's enough variety there for Venom, which it makes sense to me. It's like, oh, it's his 30th anniversary. Yeah, he should be, you know, you know, everywhere right now. And uh, and he's a fan favorite and he's definitely someone I grew up really liking. So uh, I'm, I'm glad Marvel's, you know, doing that. All right. So that's it for me. Let me know what you think. Are you going to pick up one of these posters? If you do, make sure you go to your local comic shop to get it. I think they're on sale. I don't know what the price is. So if someone knows, let me know down below. I'm sure it's going to be like five bucks, maybe, maybe less. Uh, but either way, I'm excited. If I get it, I don't know if I can fit it on the wall back here, but I'll try, you know, I'll, I'll do something. I'll at least show it in an episode uh, that I got one. So thank you always for supporting the channel. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.